me and hopped online and said, Wally never liked me. Now I'm going to treat him like the streets every time I see him. I gave him a thousand chances. These guys be thinking they linking up with the enemy. Clown ass nigga. I wish I would have knew the other day. I would have stressed you. Hey, that's a bad choice of words. That's all the fruity mess he been going on lately. Then Wally said, when you get in other people's unserious drama in the industry, 90% of the time, they be back friends with this. Then you look silly in the end. So I love man of my business. If a photo could create such vitriol, one has to ask himself questions. Happy Monday. Bruh, this is crazy. Meek Mill been on some emotional shit for a minute, bruh. Now, I don't know what's going on behind the story, behind the picture. Meek Mill was cool with the dude and ain't that. But in my opinion, I feel like Wale don't owe Meek Mill no loyalty. They came in the game as far as a group through the industry, through Rick Ross. Rick Ross put together MMG. It's not like Meek Mill and Wale grew up together in the same hood and they started rapping together. Nah, Rick Ross signed Meek Mill, then he signed Wale, and then he came out with this idea, I'm going to make a group, I'm going to have MMG, all y'all going to be rapping together on the self-made projects. But if you go back online, you're not going to find too many songs with Meek Mill and Wiley on it together. And if it was, it was like back in 2011, 2012, when MMG was still new, it was still fresh. Rick Ross was trying to create something. But lately, they don't do music together. They don't do interviews together. They don't hop on each other's albums. They is not friends. So I don't understand what loyalty Meek Mill be looking for, bro. This nigga need to stay off his phone because he be on some emotional shit, man. Which I think what this will be. Come on.